Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. It is the end of 2020 and it has been a fantastic card season. And so I thought I would do a special video today to give a shout out to my personal favorite channels that I watch on YouTube. It is the One Cent Sports Cards YouTube Sports Card Streaming Award Show. So welcome into the ceremonies, everyone. This is the 2020 YouTube Sports Card Streaming Award Show from One Cent Sports Cards. Now, here's what this is. We are going to do four different categories. We've got honorable mentions. We've got the best small channel, the best medium channel, and the best large channel that I will be acknowledging tonight. Now, what do they get? nothing it's all there black and white clear as crystal you get nothing but they do get a little bit of shout out and what they do also get is some acknowledgement for being just great channels to have watched in 2020 some of the personal channels that i enjoyed watching some of the people that i think are really great additions to the card community knowledgeable willing to learn have great communities that follow their channels and I like to emulate my channel to follow some of their leads. So I want to give them a quick shout out to as channels that you can look at within the card community that you go, you know who you're breaking with. It's almost like the show Cheers. If you are old enough to remember that show, you want to go where everyone knows your name. And these channels are fantastic communities. So without further ado, let's check our honorable mentions first off the winners are Barry from cards for days Barry has 1.4 thousand subscribers he may have a little bit more now he started back in August of 2019 and here's what I love about cards for days first of all he does weekly retail and hobby personal sales of all sorts of different sports. So you've got MLB, the, the, you've got football, basketball, hockey, and more. He does a lot of different personal breaks. So it's not random team breaks, although he does do those from time to time. But if you're looking to buy like a personal rip, this is a fantastic channel to buy from. Um, he does it every week. If he's not going to do it, he will let you know that he's not going to do it. He is very involved with his with his community. Um, it is a family friendly channel. He is an individual breaker, so he is not someone that is all locked in with you know some of the bigger channels and buying stuff um, and selling it for double the profit. He is definitely he's definitely doing it for the love of the hobby and the love of his community and making videos. You can tell when you watch his stream, it is fantastic. Barry is great at what he does. And that speaks to the exceptional commitment to the channel and his subscribers. He makes personal connections with a lot of the people that are on there and a lot of the people that follow him. The community knows each other. So just a fantastic channel in that regard. The other thing is, while he is streaming, it's an entertaining live stream. He knows a lot about what he is breaking. He knows a lot about the actual sport itself, not just the cards. He's a great person to watch a live stream on, even if you're not buying into the break, because he will interact a lot with his audience, and it is just fantastic overall. So, Barry, thank you very much. Cards for Days, if you have not checked out Cards for Days, Definitely check his channel out. I will put a link in the video description below. Barry from Cards for Days is a fantastic channel. So he gets an honorable mention from me without a doubt. Barry, keep up the great work in 2021. Next, we have Mr. Urban Card Breaks, a.k.a. Urban. He has a little over 1,000 su subscribers. He started in June of 2019. And here's what I love about Urban Card Breaks. First of all, he's north of the border, guys. If you are not familiar with what Urban has had to put up with in 2021 with the COVID response, 
He is the best Canadian breaker in the business. If you are in America, it is almost impossible to figure out how to do shipping and everything from north of the border, south and south of the border north without it being insanely expensive. But he has figured it out. His community has helped him out with that. It is a feat all in it of itself. And how Urban is pulling that off is still beyond me, but I consider him to be one of the best YouTube breakers, especially for a smaller channel and a channel that really fosters its community. The other thing, he is on multiple times a week, two, three times. You can catch him at different times of the day. He has coffee with Urban. Most of the time you're going to catch him on the weeknight, sometimes on the weekend at around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock Eastern time. He will break all sorts of different things for you. If you want Pokemon, he's got it. If you want baseball, basketball, football, loves hockey. He is a Canadian. So if you like hockey, definitely get over to his channel. But he knows all of it. He is a bigger hockey fan, but he now throughout breaking has become much more knowledgeable about baseball. It's been fun to watch him learn about the sport and watch his knowledge of baseball cards grow. He is very knowledgeable now. It is fantastic. And he also involves his daughter in some of the videos. His daughter actually has a hotter hand than he does. I'm sure he won't mind me saying that. But his daughter definitely is an added component to the channel. It is what he has built his channel around. His whole channel is designed around having fun and really kind of relishing the hobby for what it should be, um, not what it maybe currently is right now. He also... If you're watching during a live stream, we'll have a lot of different people that are chatting live with him that he brings in. There's all sorts of different people that he has brought in over the course of the last year, which makes the stream run a little bit more lively, um, a little bit more jocular, if if I can say that. So uh, it's really kind of a fun stream to watch. And then I also believe that he has one of the best card communities on YouTube. A lot of the people that follow his channel, very loyal. He has some, I, I won't shout them all out, but Truth Be Told is on there. He does a ton of great stuff for the channel. He's got, he's got Funkin' on there all the time. So just a really, really tight-knit group, which is always good to see. A Very much a startup channel that has grown to become great things. So Urban Card Breaks. Thank you for what you have done in 2020. Um, as I started getting into breaking in the YouTube stuff, Urban has always been someone that I have looked up to and admired his channel. So Urban, thank you very much for the great content. Thank you very much for everything you did in 2020 and keep up the great work in 2021. Now my next honorable mention is gonna be Shy City Polls. Shy City Polls, if you have not watched his channel, he does a lot of personal breaks for himself. He has recently got into breaking. His breaks are not small breaks. They He will break some of the best, biggest product in the business, whether it is basketball, football, baseball, you name it. He's going to break it. He is infectious. That is the word. He's very appreciative of how fast his, his channel has grown and just a wonderful, wonderful channel to watch. He has already... 2,250 subscribers. I'll bet you he's above 2,500 already. But it was established just this year in April of 2020. And here's what I love about Shy City Polls. First of all, if you watch any of his videos, you will pick up on his enthusiasm for the hobby and for cards immediately. It is an absolute enthusiasm that very few breakers, very few video makers on YouTube uh, can match. Um, just fantastic, fantastic enthusiasm. His hands are going all over. He uh, doesn't show his face. His hands do all of the work. Trust me, if you haven't seen one of them, go over there, go watch it. It's fantastic. The other thing I like about his channel, he is one of the first people all the time to get a new release video out. So if something is brand new that you were looking to watch a quick rip of, if it comes out, I really think he either goes to the local card shop or his UPS or, or, or mail guy, he is the first stop on the thing because he will normally have a video out by the middle of the day on release day for most new products. He gets it out there. He's really jacked up about it. They're fun videos to watch. So he's very quick to get it. It shows a, it shows a level of commitment to the channel and a level of commitment to his viewers to get them out that fast. I appreciate it. And 
Like I mentioned, he has just got into braking. He does not do brakes all of the time, but he does do periodic large brakes. And like I said, the products are very good. I think he did one that had so much Bowman in it and so many different uh, prism football, all sorts of different things, kind of different sports mixed in. He did like a nine box break or something crazy just a couple weeks ago. Very nice product. If you can afford to get into those brakes, definitely check it out because Shy City Poles, it's going to be a fantastic time during the live stream. He's, he's very animated about the whole thing and does a great job doing it. Even though he has not been doing braking for that long, he's kind of a natural at it, so definitely check it out. Also, one of the fastest, fastest growing channels in the community. He has networked really well. He has gotten to know kind of some of the right people. Um, and his channel, like you can see right here on screen, it started in April of, uh, April of 2020, and he is well above 2,000 subscribers already. So he is very active in the community, and people are getting attached to the channel. It's been fantastic to watch. So Shy City Polls, keep up the great work there. For all of you smaller channels looking to grow, Shy City Polls definitely going to be a channel that you might want to emulate if you are looking to grow your channel. Definitely a formula that he is using that is working. And then finally, he is totally committed and appreciative of his channel community. If you go back and watch his 1,000 subscriber video, which I think is only a couple months ago, um, just the, the outpouring that he had for his community in that video, it was awesome to see. He has done some great things. He really does like his his community that he is growing over there. He's committed to them, um, and he's a great member of the overall card community. So Shy City Polls, thank you for everything that you have done in 2020, and we hope that to see your channel continue to grow in 2021. But now we get to the best channels in my opinion if you if you hate me for it hate me if you love me for it comment below if you like this video throw over to the first and hit that like button but in the meantime my best small channel for 2020 on youtube is going to be mr austin f he only has 489 subscribers so to be a small channel you had to have less than 1000 subscribers his channel was established all the way back in October 2015. Austin is a younger card community member, but a great member of the community. If you have been in any streams, he is in streams all the time. He's very active in the community. He's active on discords. He's active on YouTube. He is all over in the card community. His fingerprints are everywhere. But if you are not subscribed to his channel, please go subscribe to his channel now because here is what I love about Austin F's channel. First of all, he's got unique and knowledgeable content. He is doing a series right now called Know the Prospects. Um, if you like collecting baseball cards, you know everything about Bowman. However, most people, in my experience, they want to collect Bowman, but they don't know a lot about the players that are on the cards. And, and to be fair, you would have to read a lot of stuff and you would have to kind of know the draft orders and that stuff takes time and, and time is valuable and people are busy. If you want a 10 minute snippet about the prospect that you were collecting in Bowman, that new video series that he is doing, and it's not really all that new, he's been doing it now for, for a couple months, but the Know the Prospect ser series, he goes into in-depth detail about the prospect, why you should be collecting them, maybe some of the reasons why you shouldn't. Very good videos to watch, they are awesome. Um, and it shows Austin's in-depth knowledge of the minor league system and a lot of the prospects that are coming up through the minors. And I tell you, if you're not watching that stuff, you ain't doing it right. Austin, thank you very much for those videos. Some of the most valuable content that you will find anywhere on YouTube when it comes to card collecting and the sport of baseball. So... I also like that Austin is a collector before being a flipper. He collects certain players. He has one of the best Joe Adele collections that of anyone on YouTube. I can guarantee you that right now. And he is very much into collecting cards, which is becoming more and more rare. The value is not as important to him as the actual player that is on the card or the type of card that it is, the year it is. Um, and the ones that he does have and does not have. And I appreciate that, especially in a smaller channel, because in order to be committed to 
the the YouTube streaming about baseball cards and and the YouTube videos about baseball cards, you really should be a collector. If you are a flipper making videos, it doesn't make a lot of sense. You should be making investment videos only. But watching, there's nothing worse than watching a flipper open up a pack and then not know anything about the cards until you get to an autograph. And then saying that I know, and then a flipper knowing if it is a big autograph or not a big autograph. It is much more fun to watch collectors opening cards, knowing what the players are on the card and why that card should or should not be in a set. Austin is one of those guys, and it is awesome. As I mentioned earlier, he does have one of the best Joe Adele, uh, Joe Adele collections I've seen. And as a Joe, as an Angels fan and a Joe Adele collector myself, um, I got to give a shout out to Austin for that. And then. My favorite thing about Austin is he is so active in the community. He is on all sorts of different people's live streams. He is um, on all sorts of people's discords. He's a very, very good member of the card community. He is making a great video series um, over on his channel. He's gotten back into it, which is fantastic. So Austin, you are the winner of my One Cent Sports Cards small channel best channel in my 2020 YouTube streaming uh, streaming awards. Keep up the great work. Can't wait to see what you do in 2021. And now for my best medium channel. Now this would be channels between one and what, what did I say? 5,000 subscribers. Um, my winner for best medium channel is going to be Mr. B-I-T-G breaks one time. I cannot say one time nearly as good as he can. However, B-I-T-G breaks. He, this year, um, has been a, another channel that has grown exponentially. Um, as When I started my channel, B-I-T-G breaks was a channel, I believe he was somewhere around 1,000 subscribers at the time. Uh, maybe a little bit more than that. But I remember catching his channel and catching live streams and saying, I want a st my stream to be kind of like his. And I've kind of always looked at BITG Breaks as a channel that I kind of want to be like, um, at least in regards to knowing the cards, knowing the community, and really kind of fostering a fun and a entertaining stream, um, but also being knowledgeable about the cards, being knowledgeable about the sport, and being knowledgeable about who's actually in your stream and trying to um, play to the audience a little bit. BITG has done a lot of amazing things in 2020. So here's what I love about BITG breaks. First of all, clean one-time breaks. His breaks are awesome. They're affordable. He's very competitively priced. He's always got new product. He's got personal stuff. Uh, if you wanna have personal rips, he does affordable stuff. He does the $3.99 uh, breaks, which has some fantastic cards from time to time that get pulled out of those. He's got his vintage breaks that he does where you can pull some monster cards. I actually, pull, I, I think I hit two of the big cards in some of those vintage breaks this year. So if you're not getting into those, trust me, some of the cards you can get out of there, if you like vintage cards, they are fantastic. BITG does a fantastic job with all different sorts of breaks. If you are into cards new and old personal rips random team breaks division breaks bitg does it all he also knows a ton about the hobby he's been collecting for a long time he is well connected within the community um, he knows a lot of different people if he doesn't know something he's not going to lie to you and tell you that he does he's going to say i don't know but chances are he's probably got the answer if you've got the question he also opened the BITG back in the game LCS this year. So anybody that goes from being a YouTube breaker to becoming an LCS, so he has launched the LCS. He actually just did a recent 24 hour uh, live stream from the LCS, uh, had a lot of different people within the community in there. So he's involving the community. He's, he's mixing the brick and mortar store in with the YouTube streaming channel fantastic to see and BITG congratulations on the new card shop and the other thing about BITG if you follow uh, his uh, his channel he's got a wonderful card community as well people from all sorts and different walks you've got some of the bigger channels that are following I know deafness is a big-time follower of BITG and vice versa 
and then you've got a bunch of different people joe iphone's always on there and the community it's a very knowledgeable community and they know a lot about cards there's a lot of nonsense but those those folks are all no nonsense when it comes to the hobby as well so they like to have fun with it but they also aren't going to screw around with it either so his community is a fun one get to know the guys in his community in the live streams it's a great great channel to follow get into a couple of his breaks it's the, the, you'll have a great time in there um, and then the other thing that I really really like about BITG and this is what I picked up on when I first started watching his channel he's appreciative of the new collectors and the season collectors alike and what I mean by that is if someone has bought into his breaks for the first time, his whole channel is built around people being be coming back into the card community. That's what back in the game means. That's what BITG stands for. So when a, not a new collector, but a renewed collector comes in and maybe hasn't been around the hobby a lot in the last few years to understand what the hobby is today, he spends the time with them in the channel, will let them know about the set that they're looking for, let them know you know if it's a big hit if it's a small hit if it's maybe a sleeper hit something like that he spends the time with them but he also knows that he's got people that have collected cards their entire lives on there um, and he knows how to play to that audience as well so BITG fantastic channel congrats on opening up the LCS and you my friend are the one cent sports cards medium channel best channel of the year winner in my YouTube streaming awards. And now we go to the best large channel on YouTube. And my winner is Striker Breaks. Striker Breaks has grown exponentially this year as well. Striker is at around 9,000 subscribers. He started his channel back in 2017. I'm sure most of you know Striker by now, but Striker is just one of the most fun channels to watch on YouTube. And he is extremely knowledgeable about product. He spends the time and breaks the numbers down. He does all of the work for you. And then once he's done doing all the work, he says, let's have fun. Let's go. He says, let's go a lot better than I do too. That's why I don't have any of those catchphrases. I, I wouldn't be good at catchphrases. I sing weird songs during my live stream and I sing them terribly bad on purpose. However, Striker, what he does, he has these fantastic live streams, totally entertaining. And all of the people that watch his channel know exactly what's being broke down. They know exactly when they go out to the store, if they're watching his stuff, exactly what product to buy, exactly what format to buy it in. I love channels like that. My, I, I, I've taken a page from that book and, and taken half of my channel and said, I kind of want to be a source of knowledge within the community. I've emulated a ton of stuff basically off of Striker Breaks and some of the production run videos that he does. And some of the work he's doing is fantastic. He has a ton of subscribers. So what do I love? about striker breaks well first of all the entertainment level is always sky high his it just watch he does he, he's got videos if you go back in time where he's running over baseball card boxes to see if they are actually as as durable as he thinks they are he's got videos where he has like burned stuff he's got videos where he is opening up brand new product and going nuts um he does high production value on some of his stuff so definitely, definitely great entertainment. It's a, the entertainment level is huge. And I think that Stryker embodies today's collector. He gets excited about the cards. Um, he gets excited about the big hits, but he also collects who he collects. He's got nicknames for cards. He's got Clayton Claus. He collects Tatis. He has what he collects and he gets excited when he hits some of the smaller cards for his own PC and stuff like that. But he also gets excited when he hits a big card he kind of knows what that card might even be valued at and probably not afraid to flip a card here or there but probably has a very nice pc is what i would imagine so i really think that he embodies today's collector and if you have not seen any of his value comparison and production run videos they are some of the most valuable videos that you can watch on youtube if you are a collector he will tell you exactly if you should be buying hanger boxes fat packs, blasters, hobbies, jumbos, 
you name it. If you're looking for parallels, he's going to tell you which format has the best odds to pull parallels. If you like autos, he's going to tell you you should be buying hobby. But he'll also tell you the whole rundown on all sorts of short prints, and he breaks it down in spreadsheet form. It's easy to consume, but that takes a ton of work. When he goes into the production runs and does the math, most of us wouldn't pass that math class for the life of us. He is doing all the work for you. Those videos are so valuable. If you're not watching them, be sure to catch the next one, and you'll see why. I also like that Stryker runs his channel very professionally. He knows when his videos are coming out. He has, uh, you can tell that they are well thought out. He has a production schedule that he follows, but I also like that he doesn't take it so seriously. So he's not like a lot of breakers that are like, okay, here we go. We gotta be real serious. He knows it's collecting. He knows it's fun. He doesn't take himself too seriously. He uses big old Bill Jack knives to open up baseball cards. And he tries to have fun with this channel, which is the whole point of doing this in the first place. So a very, very fun channel to watch, but also done very professionally. And then the other thing, he is very active with his subscribers and his Patreon members. He has his slammers, which is what he calls his Patreon members. Um, if you have not checked out his Patreon, please do so. And he knows a ton of people that are subscribed to him. When uh, If you comment on his videos, it's highly likely that you will probably get a comment back from him. So he's very active and it is just a wonderful channel for a bigger channel that has grown a lot this year. I think it, his channel is only going to get bigger from here. Um, when you look at some of the very, very large channels, I think that Stryker is probably going to be in that realm here sooner rather than later. And Stryker, I think, brings a unique point of view to the hobby and a point of view that today's collector really needs, which is if you're into flipping, you might want to know what the odds on all this stuff are. And he's not going to cut any bones on if a product is good or not. Um, whereas you see a lot of these bigger channels, they're going to say a lot of stuff is really good and there's a reason that they're saying that. So... Striker, congratulations. You, my friend, are the winner of the large channel One Cent Sports Cards YouTube Baseball Card Streaming Award. But there are a ton more great channels that I would love for all of you to watch and for all of you to subscribe to. So we're going to let a few of these flow through. Um, and as we flow, flow through, we've got Jay's Mix, just a fantastic channel. KC Nation does a fantastic live stream as well with Mama Royale. Um, Captain John, we've got Clark Sports Cards. He's been doing break and he's growing really fast. LSU Maniac, everyone knows LSU. Polly Junk Wax is back in the business. Uh, we've got El Kanan out there. Dude, where's my card? Doing the dude packs. Um, you've got Stemmers on there with his son. It's fantastic. Zach's car breaks is in there. Jaffa Leal uh, cannot wait till this COVID stuff is lifted and Jaffa can get back to a baseball stadium. There are a ton, and I've probably missed a ton, but those are just a few that I would recommend to subscribe to. And so for that, guys, I, at One Cent Sports Cards channel, want to thank all of you for a great 2020 card collecting season and I hope you guys all have a wonderful new year. And as always, I wish you guys good luck on all of your personal pack polls. I am going to sign off. Congratulations to all of the channels that won in 2020 on One Cent Sports Cards Best YouTube Sports Card Streaming Awards. And I wish you all a happy, happy new year. And I hope you all have a prosperous and fun 2021. Thanks for watching.